Hey YouTubers and RV fans, so I'm out and about today. Um, got some errands to run before I leave for my trip to uh, uh, Lake City, Florida in a few weeks. I gotta get the oil changed. And guess who I ran across today? Pops! What does this do? Oh! <laughs> How you doing Pops? I'm doing just great. Say hey to all the subscribers who were with me from the beginning who remember you are saying, where's Pops? We haven't seen Pops in a long time. Hi, I'm doing just great. Good to see you, Pops. Yeah, you too, man, and I love your new truck. Yeah, it's a nice, it's sweet. It's sweet. What do you think about this Echo Boost, Pops? I think it's great. I'm going to get me one. You're going to get an Echo Boost? Yeah, man. Sounds good, man. Not All a, right. Not a six. I'm getting the V8. You need to get the V8. I think the six is going to carry my, uh, my trailer pretty well. Oh, I think so. At least I hope it will. All right, see you later, Pops. Okay, guys, I'm headed down to the Ford dealer to get an oil change. And uh, hot day here in Florida today. It's about, uh, feels like it's 100 degrees, but it's only 90. So anyway, um, this is the first oil change for the new truck. I'm at 3,000 miles. So I'm going to go ahead and get the oil change before um, my, my second trip out. So, and then I'll go ahead and talk with you a little bit about some uh, some plans for what my trips are and get you guys up to date. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, guys, I'm at Matthews Curry Ford in um, Florida. I'm gonna get an oil change, a lube oil filter, and tire rotation. So, I'll be right back with you in a little bit. Okay, oil change is done. take two hours so a little longer than I anticipated that's all right though I have other things I got to get done today got to run at Goodwill and drop off some of these clothes that don't fit in my closet anymore and don't fit me so um, of course if I keep the clothes in a couple of months I'll be back to my regular normal thinner weight so I hope we'll see all right okay, okay guys I finished all my errands today but you know, I'm coming back here to the RV and one of the things about this canopy that drives me nuts is it collects the rain. It really does. So you get up here on top and the weight of the rain weighs down. So you have to close it slow and then when it closes, it crinkles up. So I have to figure that out. Now this is supposed to be an adjustable arm. It says here, Pull down to adjust the pitch so not quite sure how that works I've tried to pull down but I'm afraid to pull down too hard for fear that I might break it so of course you know you'd say well look at your uh, owner's manual yeah I did there's nothing on the awning in there so I need to call the dealership and find out where that where that is all right I'll be back in a little bit to talk about my travel plans Okay guys, so I wanted to kind of go over with you a little bit about travel plans and you know what my what my um, itinerary is for the next couple weeks. Um, I've been in Florida for two and a half weeks and it's been very nice to visit with Pops as you can see in this video. Um, I visited with him quite a bit while I was here and it was also nice to hang out with my brothers um, and uh, kind of catch up with everybody. So that time is coming to an end and it's time to get back on the road. Now remember, for me, if you've been following my channel, getting back on the road is kind of, uh, well, I didn't really get back on the road quite often. I was pretty stationary for, you know, periods of time. So this is kind of exciting to, to be able to have the freedom to go ahead and get back up on the road and get moving. So in order to do that, I have to plan very carefully because I, I work a full-time position that's remote. So I have to make sure that I have internet connectivity. I have to stop moving because I'm shaking the camera. I have to make sure that I have internet connectivity wherever I go. So let me show you a little bit about how I do that. Um, I have a Sprint hotspot as well as a um, Verizon hotspot. So I have two backups. Um, my Sprint is my primary because it's unlimited and it's truly unlimited. There's no um, 
uh, what do they call it? There's no throttling or any other issues with Sprint. But I also have to be very careful because Sprint coverage in the mountains is not really good. So I look here at the um, Sprint coverage map and I also look at the Verizon coverage map. For right now, I'm gonna show you the Sprint coverage map and where I'm going. I am going to Asheville, North Carolina. And um, so the area that I'm gonna to go to has some uh, pretty decent coverage. It says it has 4G LTE best. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, that usually means that I'm pretty okay in terms of my coverage. Now, I have a little bit of a panic about that because if I don't have the coverage that the map says I have when I get there, then I don't have a whole lot of time really to um, get that whole issue addressed before I have to be back to work on Monday. My travel days um, are very calculated because I, am, I do work full time during the week. And I also do have some hours on the weekends depending on what um, the need is. So I have to be very careful and plan very carefully in terms of my travel. So let me go ahead and show you my travel map. I'm gonna be leaving Florida on July 28th. And I'm gonna be heading from Sarasota up to Jacksonville. So my route's gonna take me up to Lake City on I-75, and then I'm gonna head east on I-10. And when I get to Jacksonville, I'm gonna catch up with some very good friends, um, Mike and Dawn, who are traveling in a huge diesel pusher um, and they are also towing an F-150. So Mike and Dawn and I have agreed to caravan together up to Asheville. So um, that's gonna be an exciting adventure. I love Mike and Dawn, they're awesome people, and so it's gonna be wonderful to travel with them. Um, they're gonna stay in Asheville for about a week, and then they're gonna be heading up for some family business in Ohio and Michigan. And I'm gonna be in Asheville for probably about a month. Now that may change. It's all gonna depend on my work schedule and whether I can um, schedule time to leave. But my plans after Asheville are actually to go back to Louisiana and head out west. Now, the itinerary for heading out west is um, still in the planning phases, and once I get that settled a little bit more, I will definitely let you know. So suffice to say that things are going well. Um, I'm really loving the new RV. It's a big adjustment from going from a Class A to a travel trailer. I think some of you know that when I first got on the road with the travel trailer, um, I had full tanks of fresh water, which I failed to empty. Um, so I'm gonna make sure that all my tanks are empty. I'm gonna leave a little bit of um, small amount of water in the black tank just to slush it around a little bit. But I'm gonna do a thorough clean on the black tank before I go. So basically everything will be empty with the exception of the black tank with, some, with a small amount of water. Um, I've done some weight distribution in terms of um, putting more stuff into the bedroom, which gives me a little bit of, more of a tongue weight. And um, there's really not a whole lot I can change about the back of the RV, um, but there's not a whole lot of weight back here. So I think the weight distribution is going to be okay. One of the things I definitely want to do when I get back out on the road is I want to stop at a Flying J or Pilot and, um, or TA, and I want to get the RV weighed. Um, I want to make sure that my, my overall um, gross vehicle weight is not exceeding what is recommended. I doubt that the gross vehicle weight is exceeding what's allowed um, because what's allowed in cargo weight on this is 2,225 pounds and I, I don't believe I brought that much uh, of my personal possessions. If I have 2,000 pounds of personal possessions then I need to downsize even more. Now moving in from moving out of Myrtle and moving into the RV was challenging but only because you know you're trying to figure out where to put stuff. It wasn't necessarily because I had a whole lot of things. Um, you know, I have no furniture at all, except for a very small lightweight desk that I um, use for work and my computer equipment. Of course, clothing weighs quite a bit, but I've downsized clothing since um, I got here to Florida. Yet, as you know um, from watching the video today, I stopped at Goodwill and uh, dropped off a couple bags of donations there, which were all clothes. So I can't imagine that my um, my gross vehicle weight is exceeding the allowance. Nor can I imagine that my trailer weight is above what the F-150 um, EcoBoost can pull. Uh, I'm allowed 7,800 pounds to pull and I'm probably at about 6,000 pounds, which is uh, definitely less than 95% of the allowance. So I think we're in good shape. As you saw from the video, I also got the oil change, loop filter, the uh, tires were rotated, and I had the vehicle safety check completed. So the Ford's ready to go. The trailer will be ready to go and we'll be hitting the road soon. So for all of those um, that are new subscribers, because the channel's grown by about 200 subscribers over the last 
three weeks, I want to say welcome. It's great to have you on the adventure with me. Definitely check out some of my earlier videos so you can kind of get a little bit of a history um, on what the paddy wagon has, uh, how it's evolved. And the other thing is if you have an opportunity, show some love to my friends, uh, Jason and Candace from, um, from Camping with the Kellys. Um, I put a link here in the description and there'll be a, a subscribe button uh, on the back uh, on this video as well. So give them some love if you can. They're a great couple. They'll be heading out um, from their stationary place in Missouri, uh, I, I believe sometime in November. And um, Jason's amazing in terms of his mechanical abilities. And he, in fact, his next video, I think he's getting ready to put on some new headers. Um, and he put on shocks and he does a lot of great RV maintenance, um, RV maintenance tips. Candace is just fun. To watch when she's on video she's not on video a lot but when she is on video she's great to watch and um, just these are super people so give them some love and then the next one is um, moving forward now this is a couple that uh, just started living full-time in their RV and they're traveling across the country and having a great time it's fun to watch their adventures because it's kind of comedic in some ways um, and the dynamic between the two of them is awesome so it's a lot of fun so if you get an opportunity, hop over to Moving Forward and give them a, sub a subscribe as well. All right, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me, and thanks for coming along on my new adventures. It's hugely exciting, and I'm glad you're here. Have a great day.